Hey everyone, it's Matt Frazier, the Psychic Medium, and I am live on YouTube right now. And first of all, I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you guys for all the love, all the comments, and more importantly, for following me on this amazing journey. I want to talk to you guys today about the life review. And now this is something, okay, that a lot of psychics and mediums don't talk about. And that is what happens when we go to the other side. Because you've heard in my past videos that when we first make our transition into heaven, there are loved ones that are there that are waiting for us. There are friends, there are family members, there are pets that have passed on. You know, a lot of things happen when we first pass on. We meet our spirit guide, we meet our guardian angel, we find out about the ways that they were helping us through life and what the purpose of our life was. But something really, really, really important happens when we first die. And that's called the life review. So what is the life review? The life review is when we first pass on, we have to go back and look at every single thing that has happened in our life. You know, what's so amazing is here in this world, we forget a lot of things. We forget about, you know, what happened when we were first born. We don't remember, you know, taking our first breath here in this world. We don't remember taking our first steps here in this world. We don't remember, you know, learning how to ride a bike. We don't remember, you know, some of the some of the people we went to school with in first grade, second grade, third grade. We don't remember the teacher that we had. Some of us do, but a lot of these a lot of these details of our life are forgotten. Imagine being able to remember every single thing that has happened to you. Imagine being able to relive your life and see all the things that you've missed, all right? How many of you have watched a television program or watched a good movie. And then when you watch it a second time, you're like, oh my God, I totally missed this or I totally missed that. Or especially if you're, if you're like me and you love those psychological thrillers and you'll watch a psychological thriller like The Sixth Sense, my favorite movie. And literally the whole time, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil the movie for those of you who haven't seen it, but for the whole movie, you know, you're watching it one way. And then until you find out the ending, you go back and you see things that you totally missed that you didn't pick up. And you're like, Boom, your mind blown. You're like, how the hell did that happen? Well, that's what happens with all of us when we die. We go through a life review. During this life review, the spirit world tells me that we're able to see every detail of our life, every single stop sign that we stopped at, every single footstep that we took here in this world, every conversation that we that we had, whether it was meaningful or not. For example, you might pass somebody on the side of the road. You might say, you know, hey, am I going the right way to such and such a place? And they might say yes, and you keep going. You forget about that conversation. You forget about you did that. But during the life of you, you're able to see everything in your life in an instant. But what's so amazing is that with this life of you, this is something that we all have to go through. And when we go through this life right life review, we're also able to see how our actions and how our life decisions impacted the world and also impacted other people. You know, when you go to the other side, you're able to see a lot of things. You're able to see the moment you were born. You're able to see the way that your parents loved you. You're able to see the people that loved you. You're able to see the people that have hurt you, the people that misled you. You're able to see the people that were genuinely friends of yours, the people that were not genuine friends. And then you're able to see you as a person. You're able to see the people that you've helped, the people that you made an impact on their life, the people that you hurt the people that you left a scar on, and the people that you lifted up. And what you're also able to see is how your life actions have affected you and those around you. Now, this is so important, so important, because a lot of you ask me the question that, do our loved ones change on the other side? Do our loved ones change? And, you know, uh, are they the same person? What does that mean? What, what, what does the change mean for our loved ones in heaven? Well, your loved ones don't change the person that they are, but when they go through this life review, a lot of things happen. So remember, when we transition onto the other side, it's a transition. We leave our physical body behind, and we also leave behind the pain, the illness, the suffering, the addictions that we had, the disabilities that we had, the mental illness that we had. All of those things are left behind, and when we transition onto the other side, our soul becomes pure. Your soul goes back to being that almost like that same soul that we're born here in, into this world in. When we're born here in this world, our soul is pure. You ever see a baby? A baby doesn't know hate. 
A baby doesn't know jealousy. A baby doesn't know anger. A baby only knows love. And, you know, later on, growing up in this world, we learn all these things. We learn how to lie, how to cheat, how to steal, how to do all these bad things, you know, and we have to, we have to learn right from wrong here in this world. Well, during that life review, you leave behind all that pain, suffering, and illness, but also you have to review all the life, all the life decisions, decisions and choices that you made here in this world. So when you transition onto the other side, this is why the life review is important. You know, when I talk about people letting, letting go of their addictions, their pain, their suffering, that doesn't just happen. You know, you don't just go to the other side. And it's like, oh, free, you're free and clear. You're good to go. You know, you make that decision. You make that choice to let go of those things. And what's so interesting about all of this, okay, is that I've had so many readings where souls have gone through that life review process and they've truly, truly felt sorry for the things that they've done here in this world. I'm going to give you an example. You know, there was a soul that came through during a reading and he was this woman's father. And it's actually funny because I remember this. I was at a live event and the moment that I looked out into the crowd, there was this man in spirit and he was standing behind this woman in the audience. And he said to me, Matt, go over to her. That's my, that's my daughter. That's my daughter. But he prepared me. He told me in my ear, he goes, Matt, my daughter is not going to know that it's me. She's, she's not, when you're, you're going to tell her, her father, her father passed and she's going to say, no, I didn't have a father. And it's funny because I went up to her and I said to her, I said, no, 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 let me, let me nip this in the butt right away. I go, listen, before I say it, I'm like, I have to come over to you. And she's like me. And I'm like, yes, you, I'm like, your father's here. I'm like, and before you even say anything, he said to me, Matt, he says, that's my daughter, but she's going to, she's going to, you know, deny the fact that I'm her dad. And right away she was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. She's like, you know, I can't believe you're telling me this. I'm like, yes. And the reason why was because her dad left her when she was just a little girl. She was only, you know, not even two years old at the time. And her dad had an alcohol problem. He left the house. He left the mom. He took the money. He went and lived his own, his own life. And literally, he went on a separate way. And, you know, never bothered with, with her again. There were times in her life where she tried to reach out to him. There were times when her mom tried to reach out to him. You know, her mom had tried to invite him back into their life, had to try to, try to invite him to be, be back in being a father. And he didn't want anything to do with it when he was alive. And all he cared about was about that alcohol addiction that he cared that he had here in this world. And because of that, he burned many bridges he, mur he bur burned uh, many friendships. He had lost his job. You know, he was basically living on the streets. And when he had died, sadly, he died all alone because nobody was there for him. Nobody was around him. Now, you would think that at that moment, he would have known that, you know, he was, a, he was uh, not a nice person or a nice person to be around here in this world, right? But because he was so affected by the alcohol and because he became such a bitter and angry person that... Once he went to the other side, you know, when, as he was transitioning to the other side, when he was going to the other side, in the beginning, he didn't even care that nobody was there for him when he had passed away. Well, guess what? It wasn't until that life review that he was able to see what he had done wrong. And you know one of the reasons why? Because he saw how he had hurt his daughter. He saw how he had hurt his wife. He had saw how he had, he had been mean to everybody. He pushed everybody away from his life. He was a cruel person here in this world. And this reading actually, actually almost uh, uh, reminded me of Ebenezer Scrooge, you know, about the way like in the Christmas Carol, how Ebenezer Scrooge went and, you know, pushed everybody out of his life and was only focused on himself and his money and his greed. Well, that was this man, but it was, it was all surrounding his alcoholism. And what was so crazy, what was so crazy is that during this life review, he showed me one thing that changed him. He saw what would have happened if he made a different choice. He saw what would have happened if, you know, he stopped his alcohol addiction and was there for his family. He saw what life would have been like if he accepted his daughter as his daughter, if he accepted his wife as his wife, if he tried to be the best father that there was, if he tried to, to put his energy on the family, he, you know, was able to see that. And that's one of the things that's so amazing that the souls tell me is that during this, during this life review process, they're able to see so many different things. They're able to see what happens if I married this person instead of that person? What happens if I went down this road instead of this road? And you know what also happens? Is many times people through these life reviews are able to see other things that they didn't understand. 
And I'm going to talk about something that a lot of other mediums don't talk about. And that is through suicide. I cannot tell you how many souls come through and regret what they did. So people say to me, Matt, do souls have regrets on the other side? Well, once they transition into heaven, you know, no, they don't. But during that life review process, when you have to go through your emotions and you have to sort through and see what happens within your life and where you were led wrong or what, or what had taken place, that's when you do sometimes have regrets. And thank you, um, Mary, as well, for the super chat. And thank you guys all that's here. I know I'm not, I'm not answering the comments, but I see you guys all. I just want to stay on point because this is so important that I tell you guys this. So here's what happened. For example, I, I there's not a day that goes by, okay, or a reading that goes by, I should say, when I do, when, when souls come to me that passed of suicide. And the tough part is, is they always regret it because when they go to the other side, they're able to see certain things. They're able to see that, you know, a lot of it was in their head. For example, there was a, there was a soul that came to me that said to me that, you know, here in this world, they thought their parents were against them. They thought their girlfriend was against them. They thought that their, you know, um, that their counselor was working working against them. And then once they went to the other side, they saw, oh my God, these people were really trying to help me. I should have listened to them. You know, there was another way. You know, they see that it could have been pre preventable. And that's the one thing that they regret many times here in this world. Now, it's not always the case. Sometimes souls that passive suicide pass from different reasons that they can't help. For example, let's say that, you know, a soul came through and maybe they passive suicide here in this world, but the suicide was because of the fact that they suffered from a mental illness here in this world, like, you know, schizophrenia or bipolar, or maybe they were put on, on a medication that caused them to think differently or to do different things. Maybe they had something like a PTSD. Sometimes that's different, but I can tell you, that for people who suffer through, you know, anxiety and depression and things like that, many of those souls will come through and tell me, Matt, I regret what I did because I know that my family could have helped me. I see the way that they were there for me. I saw that the way that, you know, even though I had X my mom out of, out of my life, even though I X my dad out of my life, even though I stopped talking to my brother, I realize now that all I had to do is pick up the phone and call them and they would have been there for me. You know, I can see now that they truly did love me. I can see now that there was room for me in this world. I can see now that I had a life, a life pathway that, you know, I was supposed to continue on. And that's one of the things that happens during this life review. And what I want you guys to know is that's part of the reason why when you go through this life review and we're able to see things in high, hindsight and we're able to see all these things, one of the things that, um, uh, and Renee's right. Renee just said in the, in the chat, mental illness is easier said than done with being preventable. Preventable, absolutely. And one of the things that I have to let you know is that's why during these life review process processes, your loved ones in spirit will actually come through and choose a job to do from the other side. Some souls become spirit guides in heaven. You know, they want to come back and help somebody on their journey here in this world, and they act as their spirit guide. Sometimes souls will come back on the other side and watch over someone that's going through you know, a, an issue here in this world. And I want to talk about that, re about a reading like this. Okay. I want to talk, I want to give you um, an example of one of the readings that I did where a soul came back to help somebody after seeing their life review. And this, I'm going to tell you, this was one of the most emotional readings that have, that has ever happened to me. I mean, talk about, there are no such things as coincidences. I'm going to tell you this right now. There was this boyfriend and girlfriend here in this world that both had suffered from you know, um, anxiety. They both, uh, suffered from, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, suicidal thoughts. And they both suffered through anxiety and panic and, and pain. And that's how they actually became close with one another. And when they met each other within their life, they were helping each other to heal. They both decided, you know what, that they used to go and they used to, um, uh, try to heal what they were feeling with their, with their mind. Their mind would, would, would be so vulnerable at times because of the anxiety, because of the panic they, they were using. And they said, you know what? We're going to both help each other to heal. We're going to stop using. We're going to be each other's support system. And we're going to rebuild our lives. So the two of them, you know, went cold turkey. They stopped, use, they stopped using. They stopped, you know, the alcoholism. You know, they stopped... Um, they stopped doing all of these things and they decided to just support and love one another. Well, they went for months and months and months. They were clean. They were sober. You know, their anxiety had calmed down. They focused on their relationship. And unfortunately, the boyfriends 
had, you know, uh, relapsed without the girlfriend knowing, you know, he had tried, he had tried a little something. I don't even know what he had taken and whatever it was, he had died. He died of an overdose. And unfortunately she came home and she found him. She was devastated because she had no idea that he was using. She had no idea that, you know, this was, that this was, uh, going to happen. You know, all she, she thought that they were on a good track. She thought that they were, you know, helping each other through the situation in life. And then she came home and found him departed. Well, don't you know that she was so depressed? She was so hurt. She was so upset over all of this that, you know, she decided that she was going to start using again as well. She, she couldn't take the pain. Her anxiety started coming back. Her, her panic attacks started coming back. Well, do you know that she didn't know what to do? She was she was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Should I use? Should I not? Should I do this? Should I not? Well, next thing you know, she says, you know what? I got to go and uh, check myself into a rehab. So I guess she went to a rehab. And this is this was this, I'm going to see where the story is leading to. She went to a rehab. She went to go and get herself self checked in. And they said to her, I'm sorry, we don't have enough beds for you. And they sent her to another place. Well, when she was driving in the car, and I, by the way, I didn't even know you could do that at rehab. That's what she told me. And you're going to see why. She started, to, she started to drive home. She said, screw this. She goes, I'm not going to another place. I came here for help. They didn't have the bed available. I'm going home. Well, don't you know that she got a phone call from somebody and that somebody said, hey, you know, what are you doing right now? And she says, you know, I'm driving. Why? What's up? She goes, I'm going to see the psychic medium tonight. Um, do you want to come with me? There's a psychic medium in town. I don't know much about him. His name is Matt Frazier, so on and so forth. So instead of going home, she just felt like she needed to come to this event. Don't you know? She went with her friend. Her friend had an extra ticket. They went and, and they were way in the back row. And don't you know that she was the very first reading that came through? The very, very, very first reading. And her boyfriend was there that had died. And he said, I made a mistake. Don't make the same mistake that I did. You need, you need to stop. You don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. And I remember I had to go and tell her this message. And right away she started crying and she says, Matt, you don't know what happened to me before I came to this event. I didn't even know who you were. She goes, I went to a rehab and she told me this whole story about how she wasn't even supposed to be there that day. And, you know, next thing you know, uh, ne next thing you know, she ended up at my, at my event. Well, what I want you guys to know is this. He said to me at that moment, during that show, during that event, that he was helping her from the other side. He was helping her, you know, by allowing her to not make the same mistake that he did. You know, he made the wrong mistake by reaching for the, for the drugs, by reaching for that addiction. And he was trying to save her from making that same mistake. So that's one of the things that I want to let you guys know as well, is that your loved ones in spirit do help you. And when someone... When someone makes the wrong path here, takes the wrong path or the wrong turn here in life, a lot of times what they'll do is on the other side, they'll come back to watch over a friend or family member that's going through a same or similar struggle. And in that case, he was watching over his girlfriend. And from that moment on, she had never used, she had never done anything here in this, here in this world. She, you know, said, you know what, I'm going to do it for him. She got her life back on track. She could feel him guiding her and helping her. And the last time I heard from her, she was doing fantastic. And I actually have, you know, it doesn't have to just be, you know, with addiction issues or things like that. Your loved ones do take on divine roles on the other side. And sometimes our journey is cut short by meanings, by, by you know, uh, by health issues or things that happen in life that we can't control. And I'm actually going to be putting this video up on, on YouTube, a video that I did. It was a reading that I did for this woman. And it was crazy because when I was doing this reading for her, her grandmother had died years earlier. During childbirth, her grandmother had passed away while giving uh, birth to her father, to this woman's father. The father, the father made it, had his daughter, and the daughter came to me for a reading. And for years and years and years, she couldn't get pregnant. And for years and years and years, you know, doctors thought that she wasn't going to be able to have a child, and they feared that she was going to end up like her grandmother and pass away if she were to try to conceive or if she were to have a child. Well, don't you know that that grandmother and spirit came through and actually helped that, you know, granddaughter be able to get pregnant and have um, a daughter here in this world. It's because your loved ones in spirit will help you. The challenges that they went through in life here in this world that they struggled with, that they had an issue with, that, you know, uh, they couldn't overcome or that, you know, uh, that really plagued them in life, they'll come through and try to help 
in the spirit world. And sometimes it's just the opposite. Let's say, let's say that your loved one, you know, uh, didn't have any regrets, didn't take the, the wrong turn, but they did, they found their life path and they did what they loved. They'll come back on the other side to help other people down that same pathway uh, as, as they did. So for example, let's say a doctor was here in this world, had passed on to the other side. That doctor may come through, might come come back as a spirit guide to help, you know, a young student or a young man who wants to follow in the same footsteps of helping people who maybe, you know, is lacking the courage, the confidence, you know, the uh, the uh, boost that they need to be that doctor, that surgeon, or for that to be that healthcare provider. This is how the other side works. And what I want you guys to know is one thing. You know, the spirit world has told me another thing about this life review. During that life review, when your loved ones go to the other side and they go through that life review and they see their whole life, they're also able to see, to see something else. They're able to see how their worries, anxieties, fears, and their disabilities held them back here in this world. They're able to see how all of these worries and fears and anxious thoughts and things that they that you know were so tough held them back from taking that opportunity to, to take that next step to reaching their that life goal. You know, that's one of the things that was so that that's one of the things that they dealt with here in this world. But on the other side, I want to let you know one thing. On the other side, your loved ones in spirit tell me that they're living life. They're living life in spirit with no fears. They're living life with no anxiety. They're living life, you know, with any of those heavy with, with the, without those heavy burdens. And that's one of the things that they want you to know as well is that sometimes we don't reach our goals or our milestones or, or our success in life because we hold ourselves back. Why? Because anxiety, fear, in, in anxiety, fear, worries, that's all negative energy. That's negative energy that we absorb as humans. You know, it's that constant fear of not being good enough, that constant fear of not being not being able to make it to that to that destination, to not be able to reach that goal. It's that constant fear that we tell ourselves that we're not good enough. We tell ourselves that that won't happen for us. But what I want to let you know is those those thoughts and those anxieties and those fears don't come from heaven. Heaven's not the one that gives you those thoughts, anxieties, and fears. It's what we learn here in this world. Here in this world, we're born we're born being a pure soul. When, we, when we're born, we don't have that anxiety, that fear, that worry. We learn that here in this world. And the same way that we learn it, we can also unlearn it as well by living a more positive life, by taking that next step, by putting your faith in your heaven and your angels and your spirit guides and knowing that every single day that goes by, you are on a divine journey, you are being led and your loved ones in spirit will not let you fail. You just have to trust in them. And that's one of the things that I want to let you guys know. So remember that we're put on here on this earth to learn life lessons, you know, to make mistakes, to go through challenges. But notice the key word is go through them. It's all about, we can make mistakes. We can go through challenges. We can go through hard times, but it's about what happens when we get to the other side of the tunnel. What happens when we go through those situations? How do we pick ourselves up? And how do we use our challenges and our struggles to help change the world? That's the, that's the one thing that also happens in our life review. You know, all of these all of these skills that we learn here in this world, all of these tough times that we go through, all of these hard times that we go through, when we get to the other side, this becomes shared knowledge. We take everything that we did, good, bad, ugly, whatever it is here in this world, and literally, when we get to the other side, we bring all of those knowledge, all that, all that knowledge, skill sets, and abilities with us, and we share it with others. Well, that's the reason why people ask me, well, Matt, how does, this, how does the spirit world know so much? How is the spirit world so wise? How are our loved ones in spirit so wise? It's because they have what's called universal knowledge. When we leave this earth and we transition out into heaven, we bring with us the life lessons we've learned. We bring with us the love that's within our heart. We bring with us our good deeds and we bring with us our connections. That's the reason why we always make it back in touch with our friends, our family, our pets, and more importantly, that our loved ones, that, that, that our loved ones are there and with us and they truly never leave us. They're always there in spirit. And I could go on and on and on talking about the life review, about what happens when we die, about regrets in heaven, about all these different things, but I don't need to do that because I wrote the book on it. So this summer... This summer, do I have a surprise for you? My new book, We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife, is coming out. It's coming out this summer. And if you order it right now on Amazon, you will get the lowest price and you don't get charged until it ships. 
So right now at this very moment, it's $25 right now on Amazon for We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife. But if the price goes down from now until, until August, you will get this at the lowest price on Amazon. So make sure that you pre-order. You don't get charged until it ships. And I hope that you order it. I hope that you forget about it. And I hope that this summer you get an email that says, hey, your Matt Frazier book is coming tomorrow. And you're like, oh, my God, I totally forgot that I ordered this. Oh, my God, I, it came to me at just the right time. I really need to read this. I really need to know about this. And literally in this book, I answer all the questions that other psychics and mediums won't talk about. For example, what about reincarnation? What about when you when souls don't come through? What does that mean? What about when you've been married five or six time, times? Who's your soulmate in heaven? What happens if you make the wrong decision? What happens to souls that didn't make it here in this world with terminations, with miscarriages, with, you know, with, with stillborn births? It's all here in my book, We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife. And literally, literally, guys, I want to thank you for making this a bestseller. It hasn't even hit the stand yet. And, it, and literally, I was told today that literally over 5,000 copies have already been pre-ordered. So you got to get your, your copies in because literally we're going to run out. So if you haven't ordered We Never Die, Secrets of the Afterlife, get your pre-orders in because we're going to run out of the hardcover books. So you've got to make sure that your, that your orders are in. So this way we know how many to print. I want to make sure that everybody gets their hands on this because I wrote this book with you. This book was made from all the questions that you guys asked me. I literally took it all. I asked the spirit world about it and I wrote this book. So one order that I see Laura already pre-ordered her and hers in the comments. I also see that um, Karen is ordering right now. And uh, Karen's asking me, does it cover death by suicide? It does. It covers all the questions that you've been dying to ask a medium, even what exactly your loved ones see on the other side. What do they do on the other side? What does heaven look like? You know, are your loved ones together? You know, what about souls, you know, that didn't get to meet here in this world? What happens in the afterlife? It's all right here in my book. And what I want to let you guys know, so important, is a lot of you have been asking me, Matt, how do I meet you? How do I get a reading from you? There's two ways to get a reading from me. One, you can join me for an online group reading on my website. It's only $19 to attend. Or I am coming to New York City and Boston, Massachusetts. So I will be in Boston, Massachusetts on March 3rd. There are a few seats left. So if you live in the New England area, you can see me in Boston, Massachusetts on March 3rd or New York City at the Palladium in Times Square on April 30th. And if you don't live in those areas, you you got to come and join me for an online group reading. And literally during these online group reading events, it's all through Zoom. Your cameras turn on, which allows me to see you guys at home and tell you who's with you in spirit. So literally, you got to get your tickets because look at this. Look at this right now. Every single event, look at this, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. I can't even believe this. Literally, I am sold out of online group readings because I can only allow so many people. So online group readings are sold out until May 3rd. May is the next time that you can join me for an online group reading. So literally, February is sold out. March is sold out. Um, uh, April is sold out. But if you'd like to come and join me in May, you've got to get tickets on my website, meetmattfraser.com. Or you can come and see me at the Palladium in New York City on April 30th or in Boston, Massachusetts in Lynn on March 3rd. And let me give you the link right here. I got I to gotta copy and paste it in. So here is the link, meetmattfraser.com slash events. You've got homework to do. Order the book. Come join me because during these events, either online or in person, is when I'm delivering all the messages from your loved ones in spirit. So I love this because I'm able to meet so many of you that I would have never been able to meet before. So whether I see you in person or whether, whether I see you online, I cannot wait to meet you all and to help you reconnect with your loved ones. And don't forget, here on YouTube, every single Monday, there's a brand new psychic reading video uploaded. So make sure that you go and uh, like, the, like this channel, subscribe so you always get your notifications. And thank you guys who tuned in. Thank you, Courtney, for pre-ordering my book. Thank you, Cinderella Ellis. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Who else is here? Aletta. Thank you to uh, Karen SW. Thank you to Carl. Thank you to Lori. Yes, I see you all. And I hope that you guys have been enjoying these YouTube lives as well. I love coming on here, seeing your names. And I love these online and in-person readings as well because I love being able to meet you all in person. Yes, I see uh, Deborah Varney and Yvette is here. Yes, I see you. I see Teresa uh, Bowen and Sasha Taylor and Kim Proper and JK and JH. And I see, um, who else is here? 
Meg, uh, Meg McSee and Midnight Moon. And I see a lot of psychic mediums on here as well. I love that you guys come to my channel as well because the more that we can all learn about heaven and the afterlife and our own psychic ability, and more importantly about the other side, the more that we can learn ways to communicate. Because I want to remind you one thing, commuting, communicating with the other side is a language. You know, the more that we learn to communicate with our loved ones in spirit, our loved ones in spirit also learn to communicate with us. So uh, that being said, I'm here. This is this is, this is the page not just for me to share, but for you to share as well to talk about your own experiences. And more importantly, I hope to meet you in person and deliver a message from spirit. So one more time, my website, meetmattfraser.com. That's meetmattfraser.com. Head on over there. Join me in Boston. Join me in New York. Join me in an online reading. Get it. Get a book. Because if the dead people can find me, so can you. So I love you all. I'll see you soon. And remember that your loved ones are always with you. Thank you so much for being here.